Welcome back everyone to MDLR Fishing. It's bright and early. Myself and Christian are getting ready to head back out to the jetties. A um, little bit known fact. I have a one track mine, almost like ants. Uh, and I want to catch a, a jack. And I also want to catch a Spanish mackerel to bring home to eat. So check this out right here. We have the Ego fish bag right there. We got to go get the Yeti ice packs to throw it inside there. Because if we catch a Spanish mackerel, that is our lunch. If we don't catch anything, then we don't get to eat for the day. Just kidding. Um, here goes the goods. We got the Shimano Stella with the old 18 cat shot. We have the Pisifun Alios with a hollow point. And then Christian's got the Luz uh, Custom Pro 4000 series spinning reel with my custom made fishing rod before I joined uh, forces with Old 18. And those are the, uh, the goods, the firepower that we're gonna go out there and try to catch these fish with. Winds are out of the southeast, so that is kind of good. It's better than them coming in out of the north. And uh, pretty much both jetties are open to uh, fishing. Yeah, those winds are holding more of an east direction coming in out of the east rather than the true southeast. So the swells are crashing on this jetty. I don't think it's going to be doable. Um, I mean, we can certainly fish it, but I don't feel like getting soaked again today. We're going to drive over to the other side since it's a little bit more calm. Y'all, same conditions, just a different day. Can we get it done? I wanted to do like the surf zone for maybe some reds or whiting. And yesterday we had to, I mean, we got ran off by the rain. So our plan to actually fish right out here was thwarted. That's a really hard word to say or to pronounce for me. Thwart, thwarted. Thwart, whatever. Hopefully y'all get the idea of what I'm trying to say. Oh, I need a one ounce spoon. This is not gonna get down there. I forgot that I had swapped it out for a half ounce. Dang it. Ah, look at that. This one is set, ready to go. I didn't change out my one ounce spoon from the Stella, so let's use that. I always tell myself to make it a point to let y'all know what it is that I'm using because I always get a lot of questions in the comments section. This right here is an old 18 cat shot rod. It's a medium seven and a half footer spinning and a Shimano Stella Saltwater 4000 series. Got that little power handle. We've got either 20 or 30 pound braid and then we're using a 30 pound monofilament leader from Suffix. The majority of all this stuff can be found in my video description down below. So it's got a link that'll take you there to be able to view. There's a lot of bait popping up. Small, tiny, like maybe half inch fry. Dang it, did you see the dolphin out there? He's in the surf zone. Ain't no, no rest from those guys. Every time you see them, they're like the party poopers. I mean, it's awesome seeing them out here in the wild, but when those fellas are around, gosh, there ain't really no chance of catching some fish. Probably like a police siren down there whenever they start shooting that sonar and them fish hear it. I'm curious, do fish hear the dolphins' little echo sonar type sounds that they shoot out to hunt with? We're midway through the jetty and uh, the very end is getting pummeled by the swells, making it very wet. So I figured we'd just fish right here for a little bit, see if we can catch anything because if we're gonna catch hardheads over there, conditions are all still the same as yesterday. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, let's see what can happen here. Dolphin just came up again out there, two of them. 
they're working a lot shallower than what they were yesterday. We've been going at it for about 30 minutes, y'all. And uh, no signs of life the way there was yesterday. I mean, at, at least we had a lot of bird activity. They're few and far between today. Uh, quite a few anglers have already left the jetties from way back over there. We got a guy coming right now. That could only mean one thing. Either A, he's already <laughs> limited out on what he came for, or B, there's nothing out here biting. I'm kind of leaning towards the uh, option B. We'll fish a few more hours, maybe one more hour. Wrap things up, head on home. Catch anything? So that kind of confirms it. That's the kind of day it's gonna be. When they all start walking off and saying that they're not getting anything, well, that just lets you know that it's uh, just not in the cards today. Timing is everything whenever you're going after these fish. And on these real dreary days, it's, it's really tough to bring something in. Heartbreaking at the same time because of the resources that we use to come out here. It takes about an hour each way. Quite a bit of gas money and all on a hunch based off of conditions, temperatures, water temp, tides. All of that stuff tells you that they're gonna be here from years past. However, when you get out here, it's just completely different. So still lots to learn. We're in our going, what, the fifth season and nothing yet. So yeah, just a tough one. Tough one to, to be able to swallow or a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, every year it's like, it's, it's long enough to realize that this is what to expect in April time frame like constantly going out and getting skunked and that's why I say go somewhere else in April maybe I'll just change up tactics and we just leave lures at home only bring spoons but stop and and uh, have the intent to fish live bait all right let's start making our way back we'll fish along the way but yeah dolphin dolphin right into the rocks right here in the perfect spot for us to be casting these guys are eating my fish. Look. Yeah. Man, that's a tough world to live in. Three other guys chasing after what you caught. That's like catching your fish and all of us bum rushing you trying to steal your rod. Yeah. All right, before we leave y'all, I'm going to fish this other side over here. Normally I never do because I just never have luck, but you gotta make exceptions on tough days like this. I will poop my pants if I end up catching something on this side, knowing good and darn well I never ever fish it, especially this far into the channel. I have had luck at the end of the rocks on both sides fishing the channel side, but never this far into the channel. Definitely going to have to regroup and figure out a solution. What me and Christian was talking about earlier is coming out here with some live bait, maybe some crab, some croaker. I don't know about shrimp. I mean, we could do shrimp under a cork, but uh, I usually save that for later on in the season whenever the speckled trout start to move in, which is probably like May, June time frame. But for here in the surf on days like this, you can go after the bull reds. And uh, if you're lucky, you can catch a couple of sheep's head against the rocks. But yeah, I don't know if y'all caught it earlier. I told him that since I do the jetties once a year and usually around mid-March through April, I hit it really hard because I'm searching for that jack. But on my calendars, as I showed y'all earlier, or actually, you know, I did tell them earlier. Anyhow, 
very tough one today. Thank y'all so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Sticking with me through all these skunks. Uh, it happens. That's what fishing is about. Not getting skunked. <laughs> Hoping that you can come out here and, and catch something. But man, y'all know it's got to be tough for y'all just as it is for me. Hopefully this helps y'all with a fishing report on uh, what's actually going on. We'll keep coming out. Keeping the fingers crossed that the next one is going to yield a jack, maybe even a Spanish mackerel. All right, thanks for watching, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.